everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. Right now we are gonna check out all the main season 10 battle pass rewards from tier 1 to tier 50. So definitely make sure to watch the full video. Now if you do want to win yourself a free battle pass, definitely make sure to enter into my giveaway which is for 10 battle passes. To enter all you gotta do is be a subscriber on the channel and then sign into the campaign which is on gleam.io, link is down below in the description. Also to note I'm giving away some Ghost Raid Team codes on Instagram, all you gotta do is follow my Instagram and leave a comment on the pinned giveaway post, it is as simple as that. And now, with that out the way, here we go. So for majority of the leaks shown off in this video I do want to give a massive shout out to Forshiro, check him out, link down below. I also do want to say the tiers in this video will be different when the actual battle pass does come out, so keep that in mind. So at tier 1 we do have Paul Pogba, which I mean I think is one of the highlights of this battle pass. It's always nice getting a collab character in the BP. Like usually you have to spend like a hundred bucks to get a collab character, it's nice seeing them in the BP, even though Neymar and Messi are gonna be lucky draw skins. Moving on some more we do have the ASM10 midfield legend. Personally, not the biggest fan. I do like the mag and like handguard area designs though, that's pretty neat. There's also a chain wrapped around the gun with a soccer slash football charm plus a watch for some reason. Note it does have base sights. Next we do have the ash and snow backpack. Personally I like it, it's something different, definitely not bad. At tier 5, we do have the champs charm. It's nothing crazy, it's a football with some cardium logos, it's alright. At tier 10 we have what's my favorite gun in the BP, and that's the Hades Yellow Viper. Very unique looking and also very eye catching. Has some very dope looking geometry and it is themed around the 3rd anniversary, which is actually rare for this BP. Also it does have custom sights even though they aren't that great. At tier 12, we have what's the best character in my opinion in the BP, and that's Urban Tracker, Tracked. She fits perfectly with the Hades in this bright yellow Cardim soccer attire. Very nice operator in my opinion. At tier 15 we have a legendary calling card featuring Urban Tracker in a stadium alongside some other players, pretty nice. At tier 19 we have the yellow jacket epic frame. At tier 21 we can see the new gun for season 10 and that is the LARPA SMG from Black Ops Cold War. Next we can see Pogba's avatar, pretty nice. At tier 30, we have an NA45 skin known as Athletic Soul. Not a bad skin, at least in my opinion, and also as we can see, the actual scope is thinner compared to the base scope. Again, it's not a bad blueprint. But seriously, who actually wanted an NA45 skin? I really don't know. Next at tier 35, we have Park Forward EN, which is quite a nice skin. It's just we have received so many park skins this year already. I believe this is the fourth entry this year, which is pretty crazy. At least it's not a bad skin. It's essentially park and like a tracksuit sort of thing. It's basically what you would see a team travel to a stadium in. The bright red and the white go together pretty nicely. And of course we have some more soccer, football, branding. At tier 40, we have the winner takes all, Pharaoh skin. Interesting stock. Nice looking mag and the gold and blue go together nicely. Quite a good skin, do note though that it does have base iron sights. At tier 44 we have the rapid fire emote which is pretty cool. So our character blocks some balls then does a bit of tap tap followed up by a shot, I presume scoring. And then we have a nice little celebration with confetti and sparkles, it's actually a good emote. At tier 50 we have a joke of a skin in my opinion. That might be a bit rough, but I seriously don't like this reskin of Ajax, the chef, in pink, known as Wiener Winner. I'm just really not a fan. The final skin at tier 50 is going to be a blueprint for the Lopper known as Hot Dog Rifle. It's such a random blueprint, but at the end of the day, so is this battle pass. I do like this skin though, very bizarre and very weird, but in this case, weird is good. Also it does have custom mine sights, they're very slightly custom though, but I do recommend 
Red Dot site. Next, let's check out our Ground Forces subscription rewards. So for the carry show, we have a really good one, which is going to be Bulldozer Belligerent, which I mean is straight fire. The gun skin is going to be for the HVK, known as Fire Beast. I mean, it's not great. It's just the HVK with some fire, almost Diablo-like artwork. Plus, we have a backpack to match. At the end of the day, it's going to be the character which sells the subscription. So, okay, that is the BP and the subscription rewards for Season 10. In my opinion, the BP is not great. You wouldn't think it is for the anniversary, besides for a few skins. For the most part, it is a FIFA World Cup battle pass with some anniversary skins thrown in there. If you're a football fan, well then, you're in luck. My rating though for this BP is going to be below average. That is just my opinion though. My expectations might have been too high. But at the end of the day, I would say this is the weakest out of all three anniversary BPs. Definitely give me your thoughts and opinions though down below. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope all of you did enjoy. But for now, that's all from me. Have a great day. I'll catch all of you tomorrow with a new upload. And for now, squally out and cheers. Bye.